Elon Musk's SpaceX plans to colonize Mars before the end of the century, but two companies plan to land on the Red Planet within three years before Elon Musk's estimated time with SpaceX. How sure could that be, and will they succeed? Let's find out in this video. But first, please like and subscribe to this channel, and then sit back and relax. How prepared is Elon Musk about human colonization to Mars? If Elon Musk and SpaceX have their way, members of our species will be able to live on Mars for decades to come. But unlike what happens in science fiction movies and books, SpaceX is working to make this a real possibility by making this one of the main goals of the company. Both SpaceX and Musk are confident that we will make it a reality around 2050. Their plan is simple on paper to get some humans to the Red Planet by the end of the decade and then build progressively a colony that ends up supporting a million people. In Musk's opinion, this is a very ambitious plan, but essential if we want to become a multi-planetary species as soon as possible. If all goes well, Musk has publicly stated that he believes we could establish the first Martian colonies by 2029. Curious to find out more, so let's take a look at SpaceX's plans for its city on Mars. What is SpaceX's Mars city? As the name suggests, it is Musk and SpaceX's proposal to establish a large and prosperous permanent colony on Mars. This city will be self-sufficient and could theoretically house around a million people. To be truly self-sufficient, the city's population will need to be a mix of people from all walks of life and not just consist of technical experts like scientists, researchers, and engineers. To reach the colony, terrestrial immigrants are likely to have to pay the cost of space travel out of their assets or through a loan. Historically, this was the primary mechanism used by early settlers and immigrants from Europe to move to the Americas. Such a move in the future is likely to be expensive, but relatively so in the past as well. In the past, some people who could not afford the cost of a ticket to the new world entered servitude until the debt was paid. This would not be the best start for an aspiring Martian colonist. But if completely voluntary, this may be the most common mechanism for most of the new population to start a new life on the Red Planet. Since labor will likely be in short supply in the early colony years, the influx of a large willing labor force would be a boon to the developing economy of the Martian supercolony. Once all the basic needs for a long-term human presence have been established, one of the next steps would be to set up administrative systems to run the city. No one knows how this would play out, but the hope is that the city will govern itself on its terms. What are the two companies that claim to reach beat Elon Musk's plans to reach Mars? Elon Musk and SpaceX are not the only ones who are looking to reach Mars, as two more companies plan to arrive on the Red Planet even before the billionaire who foresees the arrival of his crew in 2029. It is about Relativity Space and Impulse Space, located in California, who announced that they will work together to reach the surface of Mars in less than three years. The company Impulse Space wants to launch the first private mission to Mars in history. Impulse Space is a very recently created company founded in September 2021 by Tom Mueller, the famous father of SpaceX's Merlin engines. The company wants to focus on the development of transport services between different orbits and through the solar system, also using storable propellants that are not toxic. That is, an alternative to traditional hypergolic propellants. But it is clear that Impulse Space wants to debut in a big way and has announced its intention to create a landing probe for the Red Planet. Good start, no doubt. The chosen launcher is the Terran R from Relativity Space, a young company that hasn't released anything so far either. Recall that Relativity Space plans to launch the Terran 1 shortly, a methane micro-launcher made by 3D metal printing with a reusable first stage. According to the agreement signed between Relativity Space and Impulse Space, the latter will use the Terran R to launch a probe into the Red Planet between 2024 and 2025. The probe includes an orbital stage and a capsule with a heat shield. It will make a direct entry into the Mars atmosphere, like the one carried out by the last seven NASA probes that have successfully landed on Mars. The orbital stage and heat shield will use the design of NASA's Phoenix and InSight missions, in turn, based on the cancelled Mars Surveyor 2001. Then, the capsule will use a parachute to slow down, and the probe will separate from yourself executing a propelled descent until you touch the surface. 
As we all know, landing on Mars is a very complex technological challenge, so for a private company to consider something like this is, in addition to being ambitious, almost crazy. The probe will carry a payload earmarked for the development of technologies associated with human flight. With this, does SpaceX still have the ability to achieve its ambitious goal? Currently, maybe yes, maybe no. The truth remains to be seen, but SpaceX current progress and publicly stated ambitions are encouraging. However, it will not be a walk in the park. The plan to colonize Mars revolves primarily around the use of SpaceX's Starship spacecraft. In case you don't know, this is a fully reusable rocket that is still being developed in Texas. The finished ship should be capable of transporting about 100 tons of material and 100 people per trip. To enable liftoff, Starship uses liquid oxygen and methane as fuel, unlike the rocket booster used on the Falcon 9. This is a deliberate decision, as the idea would be for the Starship to fly to Mars, refuel using the planet's resources, and return to mainland. In time, it might even be possible to build a network of resupply stations and route to Mars and beyond to extend the range of ships like the Starship. Since the entire premise of SpaceX's vision revolves around the Starship, is it this ship that can get the job done? The Starship itself is 49 meters, but when combined with the super heavy propellant, the entire build is 117 meters. It is designed to carry more than 100 tons of payload to Mars, assuming SpaceX can solve the problem of adding more fuel in orbit. The most current iteration of the Starship, designated SN15, has completed a series of test flights to date, with the last completed on May 5, 2021. It was a test at a high altitude, and the prototype has not yet reached orbit. During this latest test, the spacecraft was powered by a series of SpaceX Raptor engines, which were fired in sequence for the large rocket to reach an altitude of 10 kilometers. SpaceX hopes to further refine the design so that it can conduct an orbital test flight of SN15 sometime this year. To date, each of the tests has been designed to advance SpaceX understanding and development of a fully reusable transportation system designed to transport both crew and cargo on long-duration interplanetary flights and help humanity to return to the moon and travel to Mars beyond. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, the subscription button, and the notification bell. To get notified when new videos are uploaded from this channel, Please share your thoughts about the two companies' plan to land on Mars before Elon Musk's SpaceX in the comment section below. Thank you.